Springer and Dominic Polly and uh, the deadly duo. So who's going to get to speak first? Is it the man with two goals or the man with three goals? The man with three goals. Well, <laughs> three goals. Is that your first hat trick this season? I think it is. <laughs> is it? No, no, it's, no it's not. You generally score goals in pairs, don't you? I think I scored a hat trick this season already. Yeah. 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 How, did, how good was that one today? Uh, this one was good, you know, especially with a lot of games coming up. It's just good to help the team when I can. And uh, that third one that, that you got, I mean, it, 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 each goal was different, but it was it was typical of the way you play. I mean, one you robbed the play, and, and the goals were just the fans got so excited. You must have got the buzz from them, and they got the buzz from you. Yeah, definitely. You know, they're coming out in their numbers to support us. So, so it's always good when we can um, repay them with good performances, wins and, and goals. I mean, that second half was quite a performance, wasn't it? So. Yeah, I mean, we turned it on. I think first half we started a bit slow. Um, it took a goal to concede for us to liven up a little bit. But we knew second half we had to put our foot down on the pedal and they were going to tie up, we were going to kick on and that's exactly what we did. I mean, you always, if the sides lower down the table, it's always going to be a struggle. People, you know, they come along and they think, well, it should be straightforward, but it's not because they're fighting for points as well. Yeah, no, most definitely. I think, especially the lower lower teams in the league, they want to they wanna do as well as they can. You know what I'm trying to say? And coming here, we're playing every feet, they're going to want to prove a point and show how good they are. So, yeah, those games are never easy. You two have got about a telepathic understanding, haven't you? You, you, you powers off the pitch, you big powers on the pitch, and, and you, you absolutely, I mean, you, the joy that the fans can see how you play together, it, it's, it's wonderful. But, I mean, for you playing alongside your pal and banging the goals in must be the best ever. Yeah, when he's not minding that, I don't give him an assist. <laughs> I think I've got two this that's, season that's two now. two in two weeks. One um, at bar from one here, so nah, it's good. And yeah, hopefully it just can continue. You know, it's a joy to play with when you play with your friends. He looks for me, I try to look for him. So long may it continue. There's a lot of, um, a lot of games to play here and a lot of things can happen between now and the end of the season, but is it a case of so far so good and just make each game as it comes along? Yeah, definitely. We can't get carried away. You know, Like you said today, it took a goal to go behind for us to liven up. We've just got to make sure that we're at it every game, keep chalking off the wins and just be focused and get ready for the next one. These wins, especially at home, they're pulling in the fans, aren't they? The gates are going up and the, the bigger crowds must be helping you a lot. Yeah, no, most definitely. I think even away from home, our fans have been brilliant this season, um, all the way through. And we feel it, especially when we're on the pitch. So long may it continue and as long as we keep putting home performances like that and away from home, I think we'll be in a good position. And what, what was encouraging was that having gone a goal behind, you, you, you did put your foot down and, and, and you won the game. You did what you had to do, didn't you? Yeah, I think um, we're very professional in the way we approach games and we know our quality, regardless whether we're up, whether we're down. And as long as we stick to it and our game plan, we know that we'll give any team in the league the run for their money. So, yeah, no, it's about belief in what we do and the long may it continue. We just need to carry on now. Talking about game plans, the visitors today, Hanson, they looked as though they had a game plan, but it didn't look as though it involved a lot of attacking. And uh, they seem to just want to make it hard for you guys and, and close it down for you. Yeah, you know, each, each team's going to show their threat, whether it's they're going to press us, whether they're going to sit back. And I think we're prepared for that, you know, we put a lot of work in. We work extremely hard on the training field, so we're ready for all type of situations, you know. So, you know. I must, ask, just shine through. I must ask you both, how do you keep your head straight? The, <clears> you know, lots of people around you must be saying, oh, you're going to win the league, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. But how do you keep your head focused on what you know you've got to do? Just not get carried away, you know. I think the extra noise is extra reinforcement that we've got to be focused. And that's for me personally, you know, it just gives that, the more people that are talking, the more articles or even some teams that come in, you take kick off, they're like, yeah, you're going to win the league, things like that. That's more focused to make sure we do the job on the pitch and get the game done. So is it a case of the more they say things like that, the more you ignore it? Um, yeah, of course you do. I mean, everyone's going to have their expectations, but it's about delivering on the pitch. You know what I mean, you can, you can have them expectations before the season and, and whatnot, but it's down to us to go out on the pitch and deliver on it. So far, we've been delivering, and it's 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 still not done. Like there's still a lot of games to play, so we keep approaching the games like we have done, and we'll be fine. And when you see yourself go a goal behind early in the game, that it shows that there's still banana skins out there, aren't they? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, every team like Dom said before comes with a game plan. Um, when we concede early like that as well, sometimes it's a bit difficult because teams like to waste time, etc. But I think um, credit to the boys today, we bounced back pretty early and we kicked on from there so 
Yeah, the brilliant performance today from Arsenal. On to St Albans on Tuesday night, that's not quite as far away as Bath at Chippenham, <laughs> so it's an away game but not quite a longer journey. Yeah. That's uh, one more to look forward to, I guess. Yeah, I mean, hopefully the fans can show up again in numbers because um, we're going to need it. Um, long may continue, just put in another good performance and see where it takes us. And you're going to be uh, on the same pitch as uh, their Sean Jeffers, who's quite a goal scorer himself, but uh, you're going to want to finish the season with more goals than him. No, I'm not looking at that. I'm just looking <laughs> at making sure my team wins, whoever scores for their team, credit to them, but I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on putting in performances for Ebsley and winning games. And that's what you're doing. So it's going to be a happy weekend for you. Mm -hmm. And you got the match ball. Yes. Yeah. Didn't you want to stay on and try and get a hat trick as well? So yeah, you fought over the match ball. Of course I did. I think you can see it on on my face. Of course I wanted to stay on the pitch again. But I mean, there's more games to come, obviously. And um, yeah, um, that's all right. So you never know. You next game. Go, next game. Go next game is always the next you, game. You, you might go know. home with the match ball on Tuesday. Uh, you never know. Keep your fingers crossed. Well done, guys. Fantastic performance today, and good luck on Tuesday. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much.